I'm ready for the wheels, the tires, and a lift. Coming nah, today. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, look what someone did with the brake line. Oh, look at that, both sides. Whoever did the brakes twisted the brake hose. Now I got everything apart and out. Waiting for FedEx. Needs to get here between 11 and 2. So I'll be ahead of the game. Prepared. They're a wee bit more aggressive and taller. Got them on there. Did it in the dark. Started raining. That's why I didn't do video. Sorry. But they're on. I like them. Springs are pretty easy. I like it. I like the way the stance is now. Got a lot of clearance, and yes, I did have to cut that. I gotta put the rubber plug back in, but not after I try it out. I tried a trail I did the other day. The one I didn't make it up. Gotta put it in neutral. There, and I'm gonna disconnect my sway bar. When it's flashing, it means it's, it's still in the middle of either connecting or disconnecting. Yeah, it still shows low tire pressure. I put 29 pounds because I thought it would turn off the low pressure warning, but no. Probably see where I got stuck last time. Now it's even muddier because it rained more. I got it all sideways in here, and I got myself back out without a winch. Piece of cake. Well, so far. I better lock these. baby it's getting tight so now I got the sway bar disconnected and front and rear diffs are locked which I'll need up here not there I'm not supposed to hit that just with, oh, there's a deer. Just did you see the deer? A sweet, innocent, harmless, leafy, doe-eyed little deer. This is where he need it. And that's where the diff locks make a difference right there. Yeah, piece of cake. Now I can turn him off. Well, that was fun. I noticed one thing, having a sway bar disconnect makes it ride a lot smoother because the front sway bar is the heavy sway bar. When you're off-road and you get that hitting the front one wheel going up on a rock, it really rocks you. When you have it disconnected, it kind of just rolls right up on it. And then the back one's the one that makes you rock. I have to get the programmer so I can program out these tire sensors or get them so I can lower them down. You can't put the tires any harder because then it'll be riding hard as a rock and it'll wear bad. I think I'm gonna need, like the other tires were 28 pounds. I think I'm gonna have to go to 28 pounds and then just program them out or put a low limit. 
that sway bar should go back in when it yeah, it kind of evens out the two bars so that spring can push that clutch back over and get the mud out of these tires which probably doesn't have much uh, yeah yeah just a bit see it flinging I think my wife's gonna be angry when she tries to get in here now. She's short. Did I get her muddy? No. Not really. That's why I don't like the tires going past the fender flares. Man, they didn't even slip going up. I just felt very slight sideways action. They done good. The 35 inch Joy Road tires at 184 piece were a pretty good deal. And they work great off road. They're quiet on road at high speeds. The springs, they're another good deal. You know, a good solid three inches it seemed to lift. On articulation, I didn't rub. And the ride is actually very nice still. I just have to change my shocks out. One thing you have to remember to do is relocate the brake lines where they attach to the frame and on the lower axle on the front because you have more articulation, so make sure that you have all that extra room. I like you. You make me laugh. <laughs>